Well, that's the temperature drops, power usage goes up as furnaces and heaters constantly try to keep up. One mountain woman says her utility bill is a whopper. Mm. News 13's Rex Hodge is live in Haywood County. How steep are her bills, Rex, and what does her utility say about it? Donna Cianci says she's gotten a bill for almost $800. Haywood EMC says it will work, work with her or any member to work things out. And they also say they'll look to the house to find to try to find some cost savings there as well. I'm worried about that every month my electric bill keeps going higher and higher and higher. Donna Cianci says she and her family rely on a heat pump to stay warm inside their home in Bethel. It's set on 70 and that's when it, usually when it's really cold to have the fireplace going. She says her electric bill from Haywood EMC keeps going up this winter. Now it's jumped from 250 Last month's bill was almost $400 and then from $400 to $700 in one month. She says she doesn't have a washer and dryer or a dishwasher to try to cut costs. With frigid temperatures expected, I'm scared to death of my electric bill next month. Haywood EMC says it can't comment directly on Cianci's bill due to privacy policies, but it says many bills right now reflect cold weather last month and the holidays when electricity use was likely higher. Ken Thomas says Haywood EMC has many programs in place, like installments to ease the financial stress and to identify cost savings in the home. If they would like us to, we will make an appointment at no cost to them and come out to their home with a certified building analyst and help them find out what the cause is. Thomas says heat pumps work best in newer houses with good insulation and taking steps in older ones. Sealing air leaks and adding insulation where needed and uh, sealing your duct leaks can lead to big savings. Cianci did make an installment payment, taking her bill down to about $630, but she still worries about what it will cost to stay warm through this latest cold snap. How do you make it when you have other bills to pay as well? And Haywood EMC says many members participate in a program that rounds their bills up to the nearest dollar, and that money goes into a fund that goes to DSS, which can be another source of financial assistance. Reporting live tonight from Waynesville, Rex Hodge, News 13.